Hi, it's Storytime Treasures again. And for all of your Curious George fans out there, I have another story, and it's called Curious George and the Dump Truck. This one is also by Margaret and H.A. Ray. This is George. He lived with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. This morning, George was playing with his toys when he heard a funny noise outside his window. It sounded like a quack. George was curious. What could be quacking underneath his window? It was a duck, of course. Then George heard another quack and another. Why, it was not just one duck. It was a mother duck and five small ducklings. Ducklings were something new to George. How funny they were. He watched the ducklings waddle after their mother. Where were they going? George was not curious for long. Soon he was waddling after Mother Duck, too. Now he could see where they were going. The ducks waddled all the way to the park. George loved the park. Today he saw children flying kites and gardeners planting trees by the pond. Then George saw something he had never seen in the park before. It was a dump truck, and it was big. In fact, George was not even as tall as one wheel. George forgot all about the ducklings and stopped to look. It would be fun to sit in such a big truck, thought George. No one was inside the truck, and the window was wide open. George could not resist. But sitting in a big truck was not so fun for a little monkey, after all. George could not even see out the window. He was too small. If only there were something to climb on. Would this make a good step for a monkey? It did. Now George could see out the window. He saw grass and trees and a family eating a picnic. Suddenly, George heard a low rumbling sound. Was it his stomach rumbling, he wondered. It had been a long time since breakfast. But the rumbling was not coming from George's stomach. It was coming from the back of the truck. George was curious. He climbed out of the window. Then, like only a monkey can, he swung up to the top of the truck. Now he could take a look. He saw the truck was filled with dirt. George was excited. What could be better than a truck full of dirt? George jumped right in the middle of it. Sitting on top of the dirt, George felt the truck bed begin to tilt. It tilted higher and higher. The dirt began to slide. It was sliding right into the pond. And George slid with it. George was having fun. But the pile in the pond got bigger. And bigger. And bigger. And soon the fun was gone. Just then the gardeners came back from lunch and stood with their mouths wide open. They saw the empty dump truck, the pile of dirt in the pond, and a very muddy monkey. They knew just what had happened. But before they could say a word, George heard a familiar sound. He heard more quacking. The gardeners heard it too. Then they heard people laughing. Look, said a girl, the ducks have their own island. Indeed they did. The pile of dirt made an island in the pond, and Mother Duck and all her ducklings were waddling right on top. George was sorry he had made such a mess, but the gardeners didn't seem to mind. We were planting more trees and flowers to make the park nicer for people, said one of the gardeners. 
but you've made the park nicer for ducks, too. Later, a small crowd gathered at the pond. Would you like to help me feed the ducks? A girl asked George. George was delighted. Soon everyone was enjoying the park more than ever before, including the ducks, who were the happiest of all in their new home. The End I hope you enjoyed our Curious George book. See you again.